Okay. Welcome back, guys. Let's pick up some stuff. Oh, well, I guess we have to probably examine. It's a box. It looks sturdy. Check the trap door. Uncle Gadget's umbrella and seltzer bottle, because we really need a seltzer bottle. Well, I don't want you to use it. I want you to pick it up. I just asked you to pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now... That way we know where we are. I'm on a Chinese junk. It's a restaurant called The Junk. How original. Brain, I'm trapped. Rarf. And you just said that. And he says okay. And we'll see him soon. And Brain. Go to the Hong Kong map, Brain. Come on. And... Chinese junk restaurant. Use the waiter coat. Yes, even though he will look nothing like that, I'm sure. Or they'll make him horribly offensive, whichever. Well, nope, he's not offensive. That's good. Use the door. Puns fun guide to Hong Kong. Go buy Umbrella Factory, get some more paper umbrellas. Or we'll go use the door with the yellow knob. Because we can. Because I'll ignore you. Hi, Brain! Thanks for getting me out! Yeah, we're good at doing that now. And use the door again to get out. Someday. There we go. Now go to, where's it going to ever let me see it? Hong Kong map, there we go. And we need the Umbrella Factory. Hello, Penny, I've been shopping for replacement gadgets. Look at this. Go, go, gadget, umbrella. Oh, that failed. Well, it's okay, we have some for you. Here's your seltzer bottle. Why, thank you, Penny. There we go. I'm going into the umbrella factory to give back these small parasols now that I have my umbrella back. Please wait here. Now, switch to brain. Who's, oh, didn't click right on it, so he's going to walk real slow over there. Not get it. There we go. We're going to be, for some reason, a British gentleman. Don't ask me why. Don't use question mark. Use the brawly. And the suit. Hey, look, it's a shiny green suit. Okay, now use the door. I'm 
Excuse me, sir, I would like to return these parasols. I realize they are used, but can't you recycle them? Now we need to use this door. <laughs> so her job is to spray paint, spray paint stuff now. That's interesting. Now. We need the umbrella. Boop. Oh, he broke it. What have I been doing? You have been a dupe of Dr. Claw and his evil mad minions. Have I? You're in Hong Kong, but have no fear. Inspector Gadget is always on the case. Now, Penny, it's time to go. One more place to go. Congratulations, Uncle Gadget, for rescuing Monica Adams. All a day's work for your Uncle Gadget. Penny, I just got a call from Chief Quimby. There seems to be a problem at the United Nations building. Well, then we need to go. Like I said, it's different everywhere. There you go to it instead of using the door. Now to New York. Oh, towers. Officer O'Malley, huh? What's going on here? Well, you see, what we've got here is a situation. What kind of situation? The infamous Dr. Claw is inside the building, hatching some kind of evil twisted plot. What kind of evil twisted plot? I don't know exactly, but it's wrong, that's for sure. What are you doing about the situation? You sure ask a lot of questions, don't you? What makes you say that? Nothing. As far as the situation is concerned, we've got the world-famous Detective Inspector Gadget coming to straighten everything out nicely. Inspector Gadget, he's here! Go Gadget, they've been waiting for you. Well, of course they have. I am Inspector Gadget. Thank goodness you've come. Please, you may go right up in. But I'm afraid the child and the dog will have to wait outside. It could be dangerous in there. Of course. Good thinking. Penny, Brain, you two are going to wait here for me. There's no telling what kind of danger awaits me. But Uncle Gadget! Now, Penny, I must do what is needed. Please move out of the way. Brain, we've got to get in there and help Uncle Gadget, but it looks like that guard by the door isn't going to let us go in. Must be another way. Yeah, there is. Use the bandana. And I think there's something over here. <sighs> Clicked the wrong spot, so it's gotta walk over there. Hey, you're late! Get to work! Okay, so. Switch to Penny. And. Use the box. And then, use the box again. And then use the door. Poor brain. It's about time you got to work. Take it on in. Switch to Penny. 
What is that? Wire, battery, antenna. No, don't use it. Pick up antenna. Pick up wire. And battery. And use the cabinet. And pick up microchip. Now use trip and battery. Makes a regulator module. Okay, now use the door. All right, now let's see where are we. Not go to. Pick you up. Go to the hall. Let's see here. And use postcard with security camera. Work. The door's unlocked. Guess I don't need this postcard anymore. This postcards. <laughs> Errors in grammar. Oh, excuse me. Use the door. And pick up the key. That's a robot. Uh, it looks like of one of those guys. I guess because they were taken out to go do their bidding. They have now made robots of them. I suppose. Okay, now let's see, you, I guess he's like just standing there, this is a restricted area, mad agents only, back to the lobby. Then use interesting. Let's use the closet door. Switch to be a janitor. Now to brain. Same thing. Switch back to Penny. Something's in here. Pick up the gadget handcuffs. Okay, now let's see. Now we need to get out of here. Back into the General Assembly. As we hustle in here. Use door, of course. Okay, now give handcuffs to Robo NASA system. If you have one of Inspector's stolen gadgets, you must be one of us. You may pass. Why, right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, because mad agents don't say thank you. Because they're evil. <laughs> Aha, I see something in the floor. A TV remote. Let's see here. 
Use with that. Oh, I think it's supposed to. I'm supposed to. Mm. Oh, okay, I know, I didn't do it. Okay. There we go, that's my problem. There we go. I was like, there's got to be a way to do that. No. Oh, my. We need the handcuffs off the corpse. Pig Latin, huh? I don't hear anything. Look, <laughs> since he can't talk. Wow, he's really talking now. Oh, excuse me. Use the door. Oh my, lots of robots. And I just took brain. Okay, so. Let's use our robot remote. And down they go. And it blew up. Alright, now we need to use. Another robot? Oh, well, I guess I must have done it too soon. And then... Okay. Oh, I know exactly what to do, because he's standing right under it. <laughs> My bad. Now let's just step over his corpse. Oh, do I really have to open it all the way back up? Okay, I'll open the lever all the way back up. Now you can go in there. Get rid of these silly janitor suits. Come on, brain. Oh, 
No, don't talk to question mark. Dr. Claw! So, you have found me. I knew you would be trouble. You're the one who's trouble. You're a very wicked man, Dr. Claw. Your meddling has cost me my world-spanning environmental enterprise. You are as bothersome as your uncle. You'll be made to pay for your meddling ways. You'll never get away with it. My uncle Gadget will get you. You have said that once too often, but it won't be right this time. I've spent millions designing and building robots capable of replacing real people who can make real decisions about the environment. My robots will make those decisions instead. Decisions I have programmed them to make. Decisions that would harm the environment but allow me to make billions of dollars every year. But why? We only have one planet. What will you do when this one's destroyed? That's not my concern. I have no annoying children, so I do not care what happens to the planet once I'm gone. But I do care what happens to you. You do? Of course I do. I'm going to make sure that you and your ugly little dog are never able to interfere with my plans again. What are you going to do? Well, Inspector Gadget's gonna mosey on in. Do 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 do. Well, Doctor Claw, I got you now. Gadget, you've ruined my plans yet again. And now I'm going to bring you to face up to your crimes. Never. We'll see about that. Give the handcuffs. Just what I need. Now I can capture Dr. Claw. Not on his own. He's too stupid. So we gotta do it for him. Walk over there, Penny, by Mad Cat and get slashed to death. I've got you now, Dr. Claw. Gadget handcuffs. <clears throat> You'll never capture me, you bubbly fool. <coughs> Out. Whoa. Uncle Gadget. Penny, Brain, thank you very much. Well, Inspector Gadget. Ah, Chief Quimby, it's good to see you. I just came to congratulate you on a job well done. Don't worry about losing Dr. Claw, I know we'll get him yet. Right, Chief, he's crazy enough that he's going to slip up where... slip up somewhere along the line. I mean, what could be more insane than destroying the environment for profit? In fact, Uncle Gadget, I guess you could say that he's a environmental case. <sighs> and we'll do this and end the game. The end! <laughs> I'll get you next time. Catch it! Next time! Bum 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 I think we learned quite a deal from our adventure, Penny! Yes, we did, Uncle Gadget. We learned just how evil Dr. Claw is. Unfortunately, Dr. Claw didn't invent the idea of exploiting the planet for financial gain. It's been done for centuries. But there is a profit to be made in saving the planet. Of course there is, Penny. But it will require the people to change the way they think about the world they live in. This is an educational game. They will if they realize how important it is. Unfortunately, some people believe they have the right to treat the planet however they choose. Look at the rainforests. People used the rainforest and nurtured it in return. The benefits would be immeasurable. But all some people see are the short-term profits and clear-cutting for grass and cattle. But Uncle Gadget, don't they realize the soil is only good for two or three years? Yes, but they can just cut down more rainforest and make more money. What can we do, Uncle Gadget? Kill them all. 
We can only buy products that don't use excessive packaging, so we do not generate more garbage for our already full landfill. Since why he was mad about the, the styrofoam thing. We can buy environmentally friendly products that won't harm the environment. We blah 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 blah. We're talking about the environment more. Rolf! When are we gonna get a new TV? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, not again. And that's it. We have beaten Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Interesting. Not too bad. Just gets a little preachy at the end, but it's a pretty fun little game. So I hope you've enjoyed and stay in tune for our next Let's Play. Whatever that may be. So as always, thanks for watching. Bye.